Okay, das ist... Waren wir hier schon? Doch? Doch, hier waren wir schon. Wo muss ich hin? Was muss ich tun? Broken. In den Keller vielleicht? War der Kronleuchter vorhin auch schon am Boden? Hm. Alkohol. Ich weiß nicht, wohin. Raus können wir immer noch nicht. Vielleicht in die Garage. Ich höre ja die ganze Zeit irgendwas, aber wo? Ich gehe mal schauen. Auto. Oder bin ich einfach blind und sehe die Hinweise nicht, die ich sehen sollte? Kann natürlich auch sein. blind bin und die Hinweise nicht sehe oder höre. Nee, ich habe keine Karte, ich habe nichts, ich weiß nicht, was ich tun soll. Ich kann doch nicht das gesamte Haus hier absuchen. In der Hoffnung, dass ich irgendwo was finden würde. Da komme ich nicht mehr hinein. Auch gut. Ich weiß nicht, wohin. Die waren, glaube ich, schon vorher so. Durch den Crow Space vielleicht. Aber ich habe keine Taschenlampe, nix. Okay, das ist jetzt unser Apartment. Also. Zimmer. Bleibt das jetzt offen? Bin ich nicht so cool? Kann ich mich einfach schlafen legen? Ah, Inventar. Oh mein Gott, Irving? 
Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I don't want to go back there now. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Mm -hmm. So, wahrscheinlich soll das dann heißen, eigentlich wir sollen zurück in die Kirche. Mit dem Gerät hier. Ich muss zurück zu George. Darauf habe ich keine große Lust, aber mein Schlafwandel muss ein Zeichen sein. Wie kommt man da hin? Vom Laundry. Im Basement neben der Laundry durch die Treppe runter. Okay, dann let's go. Ich habe zwar auch keine Lust darauf, aber gut. Komischerweise läuten ja jetzt die Glocken. Aber alles okay. Was soll schon schief gehen? Das doofe Telefon immer. Ich habe auch absolut keine Lust darauf. Nee, wir müssen noch eins weiter runter. Uh, hi. Uh, I was thinking. There really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. 
A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like... Down the stairs, watch your step. Don't fall apart or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll... I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Will ich das wirklich tun? You wanna play the organ in a church in the middle of the night. Really? <lacht> hey, what are you doing there? Dunno. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. You should take it with you, to play it, in Portland. I couldn't play even if I wanted to. I never learned. I don't think playing the organ is a crucial thing these days. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for Mountain Wanderers. Goddamn sons of... Ugh. I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. You know, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Ugh. Okay, okay. Practicing for the church choir now? Ah, uh, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. That's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. 
why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Ich glaube, wir haben hier sonst nichts mehr. Aber es gibt ja wieder irgendein Geräusch. Schmetterling. War das schon vorher hier? Down the stairs, watch your step. Don't fall apart of its your head. Round the corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that that's closed can be opened too, if you see beyond its looks. Ich dachte mir schon, hier ist irgendwas. Das mir doch schon. Oh shit. Ich habe ein bisschen Angst. Schlimm ist, wenn ich die Taschenlampe aktiviere, vibriert der Controller auf den Tisch. Und ich spüre das. Jemand war hier. What the fuck? Ist das hier bitte? Wurde Rachel hier gefangen gehalten? Oh shit. So, found the mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's... Her room, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. So, sorry for the kleine Unterbrechung. Um. Ich finde das hier also wirklich ziemlich creepy, was hier passiert. Und ich habe zwei Theorien. Entweder wurde alles inszeniert von allen Leuten, die irgendwie da drin stecken, dass Rachel angeblich tot ist oder Suizid begangen hat. Oder sie ist wirklich tot. Ähm... Aber es war kein Suizid. Vielleicht wollte man einfach vertuschen, dass sie ein Kind vom Pastor bekommen würde, hätte. Und deshalb hat man sie umgebracht. Weil sonst würde ja. Sonst würde ja bei der ersten Theorie die. Also es würde nichts die Geräusche und die Stimmen erklären, das ganze Ghost-Hunting-Zeugs wenn es die erste Theorie wäre. Also eigentlich... 
Oder vielleicht ist Rachel tot, aber hier wurde ihr Kind großgezogen. Und das Kind spukt, spukt vielleicht, lebt es hier wirklich drin. Weil das Pferd hat sich ja gerade noch bewegt. Alles? Ist das eine Zahnspannpackung? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe. There was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on. Alles ziemlich weird. Retard. Robot teacher. Rachel's book. Teach me to talk. The speech therapy manual. Zauberwürfel. Snow White. Rapunzel. Das sind Kinderbücher und Rachel war ja ein Teenager. Das verwirrt mich ein bisschen. Schlüssel. Breed. Breed Crumb. Brotkrümel. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No, I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on or went on here. Ich hab echt Gänsehaut. Ich glaube zwar nicht, dass irgendwo was yes. kommen Nicole, wird. Listen, I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for 10 years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel on his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that! I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Die 
Geräusche am Telefon wurden schlimmer. Und ich habe echt Gänsehaut. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. Mm -hmm. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from ten years ago turns up still good, and then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 no. I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. Yeah. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Ich bin auch ziemlich verwirrt. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Mm. 